keeping your printer's firmware and drivers up to date is a key action when trying to improve your security and performance. To take advantage of these new features, Entrust Datacard has updated the firmware for Datacard SD, CD, and CE series card printers. This video will show you how to do it step by step. Detailed update instructions for your firmware can be found at www.datacard.com slash infocus. Please familiarize yourself with the printed instructions before beginning. First, make sure your printer and computer are powered up, connected, and ready to work as if you're going to print cards. Your printer should be connected either via Ethernet or USB. In this demo, I will be using an Ethernet connected printer. Next, use your web browser to go to www.datacard.com slash infocus. Click the Download Firmware button and complete the registration form to start the process. From here you will see the file to download to update your firmware. Wait until your firmware update utility has been downloaded. Once you have the file saved, it's time to perform the firmware update. First, let's check to make sure that the firmware that is loaded on the printer is compatible. You should have downloaded either a D2 or D3 firmware version. You can check this on the LCD of your printer. Go to the LCD menu and click the down arrow. In this example, you'll see that we have D3153 firmware on this printer, and we'll be updating it to a D3.16 version. Next, I'm going to open the firmware utility. The firmware update utility is a program that will help you install your firmware. Once you've double-clicked, the program will launch and install on your Windows machine. Now that we've installed the utility, it's time to perform the upload. One of the key steps is to ensure that you've connected to the right printer. Here we show the data card card printer firmware update utility. You'll see here that I have printers that I can choose to update. In this case, I'm going to add a networked printer. To do this, you'll need to enter the IP address of the printer you want to update. You can find the IP address using the LCD panel. Simply hit the down arrow button until you find the IP address. You can also provide an optional name. Once I've added the printer, I will be able to select it from the drop-down menu. You'll see that we need to connect now to that printer. I'll hit the connect button and the utility will start to communicate with the printer. First, the utility will connect to your printer and find the current version of firmware that's running. That will help you ensure that you have the right version to update and that you're not running the current version. Next, we will click to update the firmware. Please wait while the update process occurs. It is very important not to disconnect or power down the printer during this phase. You may need to wait several minutes for the firmware update to complete. Our update is nearly complete. Next, you'll need to wait while the printer powers down and restarts. Once the restart process is complete, your printer is ready to print cards and your firmware update is completed. If you need to update multiple printers, you can reuse this firmware update utility. Simply launch the utility and select the printer from the drop-down menu or add a new printer if you need to. Your data card printer is now ready to print cards. For more complete information on firmware updates, please visit datacard.com slash infocus or talk to your authorized data card partner. Thank you.